Hey guys, welcome, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Kelly and today I'm gonna to show you guys um, an embroidery blank that I got off of Amazon. Um, I kinda of just did it as an experiment um, and actually it's not even listed as an embroidery blank. I don't know if you guys have done this, but um, I've looked several times to, you know, try to find shirts that are specifically for embroidery that are on Amazon and of course it's not an option. Um, I know enough to know that, uh, you know, Amazon has pretty high fees. So I'm assuming that, uh, well, I don't know, this is just my guess. So I would think that embroidery um, blanks, you know, uh, companies that we typically buy from like ARB or AJ Blanks or any of those don't want to send their stuff to Amazon um, because they have to jack up the prices so much. Um, but for instance, the shirt I found was $10 free shipping. Um, and you know, if you buy one shirt from a blank company, you know, you end up paying that much because of shipping. So, but in theory, you buy your blanks in bulk, but here's the story. So I got an order on Etsy and it was for a size 12. Why do I have size 12 in a, as an option? I don't know, I don't have size 12. So, and I, it seems like it used to be a lot easier to get a size 12 and now it's really hard. Um, ARB did not have them, Love That Cotton did not have them. I'm not sure if I checked Blanks Boutique because here's the deal. I, on my Etsy shop, I have a one to three day turnaround time. Again, what am I thinking? But I have a lot of blanks, so usually that's totally fine. Um, but for a size 12, for it to get here and then me turn it around in three days, and Blanks Boutique doesn't ship that fast. I used to, or they ship just fine. It just doesn't get here um, very fast. I used to love to order from Love That Cotton. Uh, I still do, their stuff is cute, but um, because they're in Texas and so it would get here really fast. They don't seem to have as high of a turnaround time as they used to, it must be. Um, or, no, actually, yeah, it does seem for them to take longer to ship it than it used to. It seems like they used to ship it in a day um, and then it would get here in a day and I'd be fine. But I think between postal delays and then their time to turn it around, it's been a little bit longer. I also don't think they had a white shirt in a 12, so it didn't matter anyway. So I ordered one from AJ Blanks and she seems to be a smart lady. She seems to be one of the only ones that has a good supply of size 12. Um, however, she's in Maryland, I'm in Texas. She ships really fast, but sometimes it takes a while to get here. Um, but I thought, oh, it'll be okay. Well then, Day before yesterday, I checked and it was going, the tracking, and it sh she had shipped it um, really quick, like she always does, um, but it was showing that it wasn't gonna get here until Monday. And I had to ship the shirt out today, Friday. So I was like, all right, Amazon, let's see what you got. So I went ahead and ordered one um, so that I can compare and I wanted to show you guys that comparison. Um, I will say that my AJ Blanks got here today, so it actually came really fast. So I went ahead and knocked out the shirt and I did it, um, on, uh, um, AJ Blanks. I'll show you the shirt. It's really cute. It's one of my favorites. Little apples. Um, oh man, my cards fell out. Um, anyway, I got, I... I'm not unhappy with my Amazon purchase, purchase, but I got nervous. So with AJ Blanks, I ordered two. So I'm gonna show you the comparison here. So this is the one from Amazon. It's a puff sleeve, just like the embroidery blanks. Um, it's, I don't know who the um, seller was. Um, there's a bunch of different ones, but it says basic girls on it. So the big difference here, it's not a hundred percent cotton. It is 
95% cotton and 5% elastane, elast, yeah, elastin, elastane, A-N, T-A-N. Um, so it's a little bit stretchier than, here's the AJ blank, than the AJ blank. It's also, well, uh, that's pretty stretchy too. Um, so when I pulled it out of the bag, I was going to hundred percent use this because, um, it is, let's, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. I would, the thing I really like about it, no, nah, you can't really tell. It is whiter than a, um, shirt from a blank company. doesn't really matter, but it's just kind of fun. Um, it is... At first, I thought it was really see-through, um, but when I held up the AJ Blank, it's really not. It's thinner, but it's not considerably thinner. Um, I don't know if you can tell. This is the AJ Blank. This is the Amazon purchase. So hard to see, but oh yeah, you can kind of see that. See, this is a little bit thinner. Um, all that being said, I think it would have been fine for what I was going to do. Um, that shirt was all the bean stitching. I did a video on that a couple back, um, or maybe even my last one. Um, it was all the bean stitch, so it doesn't need a lot of, um, it doesn't need the thickness that you would need for like a satin stitch. Now, I will also say this, if I was going to use this, I typically, when I hoop my items, I use a medium cutaway and I was really concerned because it is just ever so slightly thinner. I was really concerned that that stabilizer was going to really show through. So I was going to use, I have a no show poly mesh. Y'all, I think it would have been totally fine. Um, again, I kind of chickened out and I just used the real deal. Um, but I think that if you had kind of an emergency, oh, here's the other thing. One more thing. I almost forgot. And this isn't necessarily, uh, oh, measurements. They measure identical, like, uh, maybe, oh wait, this is a 10 or a 12. Maybe the, um, one on Amazon is slightly longer. Um, it's hard to hold them up this way, but when I have them laying down, the um the one from Amazon is just like a mm, half an inch longer. Um oh, but the main difference is the sleeves. The um this is the one from Amazon and this is the AJ blank. The sleeves are shorter. I mean, that's really neither here nor there. It's just a difference. Um and I don't have well H.A. Blanks and ARB are identical um, when you hold them up together. So ARB must have the longer sleeve too. Um, but there's nothing wrong with these sleeves. They're cute. Um, so anyway, I'm going to hang on to it. If I have another emergency, I might use it. But, um, and I might try something else. Again, it would just be really nice to have an option um, for kind of an emergency. Um, again, I don't mind paying more, but if I would have, you know, if I would have ordered one of these, one of the AJ Blanks or an ARB and done like expedited shipping, I've done that before and it doesn't necessarily get here all that much faster. And I mean, you pretty much have to overnight it to get it in Amazon time. So I'm going to keep shopping around and see if I can find anything else that is, um, uh, usable, but it really kind of shocks me that there aren't more options because again, yeah, on a, obviously I'm not going to stock up and get all of my blanks from Amazon because you would, I mean, I wouldn't even get two um, because they're 10 bucks a piece as opposed to 575 or whatever. But um, I would be willing to pay $10 because once you add in shipping, that's the cost of one shirt, um, if not more you end up paying like six or seven dollars for shipping but anyway so that's my um little review of uh ordering blanks on amazon i also want to show you guys don't laugh you're gonna laugh 
I got more vinyl. Um, I think I told you in the video where I, um, I haven't opened this yet. This again is, um, I like their sticker, um, is my punk bordery. And, um, I told you in the last video that I opened, uh, mail for, you know, bags I'm going to make sometime in this lifetime. Um, I actually, some of this I'm going to use on my embroidery machine. I ordered from my punk embroidery. I liked the stuff, but I kind of wanted things that were a little more fun. I was kind of boring with my order. So I ordered this, um, and oh my God, I cannot get them open. It is very much taped, um, which is not a bad thing. It just, it just is. I cannot remember what I, all I ordered. I know one of them for sure. Um, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do with that because it'll be a video. Oh my goodness. I am like, okay, there we go. Okay. So I got, I'm really excited about this. I got a red sparkle. Now this, uh, I can already tell it's a little bit thicker than the promo vinyl, which is fine. Um, I have an industrial sewing machine, so I can sew through pretty much everything. Ooh, I like this a lot. Can you see all that sparkle? I wouldn't use this on embroidery. Maybe. I just prefer, I've said this before, I just prefer um, heat transfer vinyl for embroidery. Um, and I bought some of that, so I'll show you that too. Um, I'm really excited about this one. Ugh. Yes, it's amazing. This is called, it is a deep sea glitter. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. I have no plans for this. I have, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I love it. Um, and then I got black glitter. I was all about the glitter this time. I wasn't going to be boring. So, just some black glitter. This might be for my um, Disney World backpack. And then this one, ooh, I like this. Um, this one is, um, I'm gonna do a video on this because I saw my cousins a couple weekends ago. It's a little different than I thought, but I like it. Um, this is called the Coconut Flake. It's pretty thin. You could use this for um, embroidery if you wanted, um, for like shirts or whatever, but I'm going to do some in the hoop projects with it. Um, I went and saw my cousins and one of my cousins has three little girls. Um, one of them has two boys, but um, the little girls uh, I wanted to make, I'm making them all a little present, but the girls I'm going to make um, little... Oh, what do you call them? Like those composition notebooks, you can get many ones. I ordered them from Amazon. Um, and this will be a cover for it. And it'll be embroidered and have their names on it. It is um, it is a design from Parker on the Porch. And then I haven't decided for the boys yet, but these are gonna kind of have rainbow stripes in their name. Um, that video will be coming soon because I need to get those mailed out to them. Okay, so what else do we have here? They always send, oh my gosh, this is cute. They always send a little sample of some other things they have. Look how cute that pink camo is. I could even make a little snap tab out of this. That is precious. Um, and then I got, so that's all the vinyl I got. And then I got, um, some HTV and it says enjoy a free sheet which is super nice of them um let's see what we have in here there we go maybe maybe oh it looks like they put two I get it now they put two boxes together so they've taken great care to make sure that everything arrived appropriately. Again, I just prefer HTV for shirts. I don't like the way vinyl feels on a shirt. It just, it bugs me. 
Nobody's ever complained, but I don't like it. And it's hard to be excited about your, oh my gosh, I'm ripping, I'm ripping. Um, it's hard to be excited about stuff when you don't even like it. So I didn't have um, any black and I had been using, um, whatchamadoodle, I'd been using, uh, it's, it's a glitter, all of this is glitter vinyl. Um, I've been using a embroidery vinyl for um, black hair, but again, I don't like it. So I wanted some of that. And then I was out of gold, so I got some gold. And then, oh, this one must be the free sheet. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Ooh, that's fun. I could definitely do something with that. Now this is not a glitter vinyl, so I probably wouldn't use it on an embroidery shirt. It just doesn't hold up. The, the glitter vinyl is thicker and it can handle the poking of the um, embroidery needle. But um, checking my, I feel, I thought I had bought three. No, um, it can handle the puncturing. So I have a um, store right up the street from me that sells vinyl. Uh, not, not this kind of vinyl, not embroidery vinyl, not vinyl you would use for sewing, but like um, vinyl for shirts, heat transfer vinyl. Couldn't think of the word. Um, I'll have to check and see the prices. I think, yeah, this is definitely cheaper to order. Now I do, I like to support local business. So I do order from her, um, quite a bit, but I thought since I was ordering the, um, embroidery vinyl or the, the sewing vinyl anyway, that I would get these. Um, for the life of me, I can't remember what design I used this for, but I've used a bunch and now I'm out of it. So I'm happy to have some gold and, um, some black for some hair. So Anyway, again, my punk embroidery. Oh, they gave me a pen too. I'm very happy about that. I like free things. Um, so if you need anything like that, again, I'll do, I'm going to do a video on this. So if you're not subscribed already, please do so. Um, and then it'll be this as well as something for the boys. I'm a little concerned that this is too thin. I might have to rethink that or use something different. So it's going to be an in the hoop project. Um, and it's going to be stiff enough to go around those composition books, but because it's so thin, um, I mean, because it's so little, it might be okay. I might have to back it with a thicker, thicker vinyl, but we will address that when we get there. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I know this was a super short video and I talk way too fast, but if you're into sewing and embroidery and you found um, anything interesting about this video, please subscribe and like, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.